All right, good afternoon. So today we're going to be integrating a new type of host into the feed component on by AI. If you'd like to check out by AI, the link is by AI.dev. It'll be in the description. All right, so getting started, we have this uh, component feed that is that really does nothing, uh, just uses feed component to do everything. And so in feed component, uh, all of the logic actually takes place. So what we have right now um, is a basic feed that is great and awesome and it works fine but what we need is firstly to take that out but what we need is to take a new api endpoint and integrate it into this and basically mesh the two different api endpoints together so that all sounds a bit confusing but what we're doing is we're taking the feed from cross post which is this and we're taking the feed from let's see probably let's see i guess in this case uh it, it could differ but in this case probably just blogs to start with um and we're going to be getting both of those uh arrays from our api and we're basically going to mesh those together into a single array here which is going to be a little bit um interesting because well yeah we're taking two separate arrays that really shouldn't be together and trying to to mesh them together so yeah we're going to see how well how smoothly this goes but just to start we have our data um and our data right now is just from the actual, uh, from either the feed for blogs or the feed for lists, which are two different types of posts on by, on by AI. Uh, but we also want to get the, let's see. So, okay. So we also want to get the, uh, cross posts for this um this feed and that's where it gets a little bit interesting so let's make our query key first and it really is just going to be page and then args um and then our query function we haven't really made that yet let's just do this for now and then we can actually go over to uh helpers and go down to the bottom we're gonna look and see if there's a pre-existing feed there is okay so we're kind of just gonna rip off of this because it's literally like the same logic um so it's basically just gonna be this but it's gonna be get cross post feed now the one thing that we're gonna have to think about here is that if we check out the models for cross post uh oh okay so i didn't think about that until now um wait no 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 never mind i i was gonna say like how did i not think about that till now so we do have a post type we can still cross post can still either be blog posts or lists uh we need to take that into consideration when we're actually um uh fetching these from our api so we need to think about the best way we can do that because if we just pass it in from here it might get a bit messy i don't think it should though um yeah we're we're, we're gonna see because i don't want to have i forget what the react docs call it but i think um prop drilling i don't want to prop drill but i also don't want to add another variable to redux if we can avoid it just because it's one more thing to maintain, make a uh, reducer for, and all that other fun stuff. So let me look and see how we're doing this right now. Because we have feed, but this, okay, so here's the thing. I don't remember how I actually set. Oh, okay, yes, we should have type set. And then, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so when we actually render the feed, that's when we set the type of the quote unquote post. Um, in this case, the post type refers to the type of the entire feed. So in that case, I don't see anything wrong with 
Actually, no, we don't even need to prop drill because I think in theory we can just go into here and well, we could do uh, get cross post feed list or we could just do get cross post feed blog post as two separate functions or we could just uh, get the post type in here. It's really going to depend on flexibility because the lists and the standard blog posts are under different models right now, which is great for flexibility and uh, database normalization. But I don't, I don't know if I want to make a separate cross post model to allow for both um, blogs and lists. So let me think. You know, what? okay. Let me look a little bit at database normalization, normalization standards wiki. Um, this is what I've used before, and it's absolutely wonderful. It just gives you. Oh wait, is this? Yeah, this is okay. This is what I'm thinking. Um, dark mode, please. Okay, because I want to. Uh, ideally, I want my babies to be at, at three enough. Um. It just makes it a little bit easier for me to manage. So, yeah, okay. So, the first row form, each field contains a single value. A value may, may not contain a set of values or a nested record. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the second normal form goes to the point of, let's see. Call that the book table has a composite key of title format, which will not satisfy 2NF if. Do we have. I feel like there's a better page on this that actually like describes hold on uh i don't really care about that maybe, maybe this i'm not really sure um over relation model yes one okay so this each row is depend on each row's primary key and third normal form uh, the data in each column and each row are dependent on only on columns that are part of the primary key. This is where it gets weird. A primary key is one of our columns in a row that are used to identify and index that row table. Uh, the columns that are not related to any columns of the primary key are removed. Uh, so the data in each column and each row are dependent only on columns that are part of the primary key. A primary key is one or more columns in a row that is used to identify uh, okay, okay, so the data in each column in each row is dependent only on columns that are part of the primary key. That is so wildly confusing. Am I going crazy or is that a little poorly written? Uh, I think I can find a better article on that. I never actually remember database normalization because... I don't really do it that much. Um, so, okay. Uh, all non-key attributes are fully dependent on the primary key. So I think that yes, that is the case for our cross post model. Um, is In this case, we don't technically have an official primary key, but if we were to label any of these as the primary key, they would depend on it in that the well other than the post type see the post type doesn't depend on it though because the post type okay because okay because uh, that's gonna say like okay if, if we name title as the primary key which we can't really do that wouldn't work with how i have the uh with how i have everything set up i'm not sure if you call that like unique hashing or whatever but anyways um i mean the if we set the title as the primary key, yes, the the URL the URL would depend on that. The user would depend on that. Uh, the create date and update date, not technically, but I mean, who really cares at at that point? The post type. See, that's the thing. I don't think the post type would directly depend on that, or I just or I just have a really poor understanding of database design, which is kind of true. Um, the slug field would also depend on the title, of course. Yeah, it would literally depend on the title. Oh, 
I feel like Davis normalization is not really what I should be concerned about here. It's just is the logic of what I'm doing sound in that if I have um like am I am I gonna be shooting myself in the foot if I want to at some point come back and have cross po and make cross posts that are listicles do something different. See the thing is that I don't think that I am because with the way that I have everything set up, if cross post is a listicle or a or is a listicle or anything that isn't the standard and default blog post, I think that I can just have a separate table for like cross post listicle content and then I can separate that out or sorry, when I actually need that content, I can just query for it. Uh, and I don't need to include it in the main table because I feel like, I feel like that makes sense, but that, that that's also the kind of opposite of what I did for the standard, um, the blog post and listicle. I had two completely different models for that. And now I'm kind of wondering if that was a bad idea, but I feel like I don't need to though, because if I do need to add anything on in the future, uh, I can just create a new table and then query onto that. And I think everything would be fine. And that'd be easy to do with uh, serializers or it, it, it would be easy to just serialize that and get it out to the, get out from the API endpoint. Uh, and then it'd be easier to handle that on the front end. So yeah, in that case, I don't, I think I'm not going to actually create a completely different table. And wow, I just realized I yapped about that for the last 10 minutes. Jeez. Okay, well, point being, uh, I need to add a separate, um, whatchamacallit, query parameter here so I can actually um, query for either lists or posts. And then I can go, I can go from there and just do the standard, uh, you know, like so so um, we get the cross post, then we merge them into one array and then we just render that array and we might have to do a little bit something, uh, we might have to do something a little bit funky when it gets to this with the blog post thumbnail, um, just because that that might need to change um or we can just again we can just pass in whatever actually no we don't even have to pass in we can just call get post type and that'll get the current state from the redux store and then we can render it however we need to okay i think that sounds fine and again i yeah for a really long time um yeah, end the video there uh if you do enjoy uh please please feel free to like and subscribe